I'm Alok Jha, The Economist Science Editor, and I travelled to the top of a mountain in Chile to visit the brand new Vera Rubin Observatory and find out how it works. You can see the eight metre mirror right in the middle there. Um, that's where the light is collected and then reflected off to that sort of cylinder. That's the digital camera, the biggest digital camera ever made. So what this will do is every few days, it will take a picture of pretty much of the entire sky. And it will do that for 10 years. Now you can imagine if you stitch all those images together, what you're gonna get is essentially a massive time-lapse of the sky over 10 years. And what you can do with that information is look for objects that come and go from the sky. You can look for changes according to the large-scale structure of the universe, so things like dark matter and dark energy. You can even start to investigate things like the structure of the Milky Way. And this whole structure contains the various mirrors that will take in the light and reflect it around. And this teal gantry is the thing that moves it around, round and round, to look at various different parts of the sky. But the interesting thing is underneath, so just have a look under there. What you can see under here, these black circles, and lots of pipes and things, these things are actuators. And what these actuators do is very carefully shape the mirror, which because it's heavy, gravity will deform it. So that means that the light coming in won't be focused properly. So these things are part of what's called the active optic system, which rebalances the mirror, basically. To hear more about my trip inside the observatory, listen to this week's Babbage podcast.